The OCC provides computing infrastructure for researchers in, uh, in science, uh, medicine, healthcare, and the environment. The Open Cloud Consortium is organized into working groups, and the Open Science Data Cloud is one of the working groups that manages data and allows scientists to easily compute over that. So we become your partner so that all you have to do is log in to our infrastructure, to our cloud infrastructure. Your data is there, your computing environment is there, you could do your computations, we store the results, and we allow the results to be shared with your collaborators. We have all these bits, you know, on all these hard disk drives, but we have no idea what they really mean a lot of times, you know, and we know that there's something useful in there, and we've started to see some really interesting glimpses there, especially in the scientific community. And for the Open Science Data Cloud, I think it's this really important piece of being able to take those bits and make them useful to people in their real lives. You know, when we first had the telescope, when we first had the microscope, the people who first had those instruments had the ability to make discoveries that eluded the people before them. Well, the, the Open Science Data Cloud is a data scope. I'm a scientist. I want to use the data scope to make new discoveries. You know, a scientist doesn't care about infrastructure as a service. They don't care about platform as a service. They don't care about software as a service. They care about doing their science. So if you could give them the things they need, the ability to manage data, the ability to make discoveries, the ability to sort of analyze it, the data easily, um, people in the community um, are sometimes calling that science as a service. I think we're lucky in the Open Science Data Cloud to have universities, to have companies such as Cisco and Yahoo, uh, to have um, national agencies such as NASA and some of the um, DOE laboratories such as uh, uh, Livermore and Oak Ridge. It's a, it's a very nice collaboration. Generally, we work with, with projects. So let's say you're part of a project that um, is studying sort of the genomics of flies, or let's say you're a project that's looking at imagery um, from satellites that quickly adds up to hundreds of terabytes of data, and um, that's too much for most, most institutes to easily manage unless they have a, a, a large and specialized team to do that. So we provide that um, through bi the BioNimbus Cloud. So BioNimbus is an open science data cloud project that um, allows uh, people studying genomic data to upload, analyze, manage, and share large genomic data sets. So Project Matsu is a project where we take data from satellites and analyze that data, manage that data, share that data to look at questions both in earth sciences and also to do identification of phenomena such as fires and floods so that we could assist, um, uh, provide human assisted disaster relief. We try to get undergraduates and graduates and early career scientists um, to learn about big data. And then we have a partners in a number of foreign countries and then we work with those partners on different um, projects and they get an education, the Pyre Fellows in um, data science. We really want to get a broad, represent, a broad group of uh, data scientists trained and the Pyre, this five-year NSF project through the Pyre program is our way of training sort of the next generation of data scientists. We're in the process of working um, with a, a larger group of collaborators to create what we're going to call, what we call the Burnham Center for um, Knowledge Discovery, a data center sized facility uh, for science, you know, for clouds for science, clouds for researchers. And so what we're doing, and you know, we welcome the help of anyone who wants to get involved, it's a volunteer effort. We're looking for people to get involved in the Open Science Data Cloud. We'll help you uh, write grants to get funding for your work. Um, we're, we're here to sort of be a neutral place for people to park large amounts of data, to look at data that they might not necessarily look at, to overlay that data over their own data. And so, you know, contact us. You know, we want to get you involved. Um, this is a great time to do data science. It's a great time to do data engineering. And, you know, I would ask you the question, why aren't you involved?